Do you want to install a custom ROM on your Xiaomi Poco F1 phone? That's what we're going to do in this video. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey YouTube, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install a custom ROM on your Xiaomi Poco F1 phone. So what are the things which you need to take care of? For starters, the first thing, make sure your battery is charged at least 70 to 80 percent. Make sure you've backed up your data, pictures, video because we're going to do a factory reset of the device in the end. Third thing which you need is make sure you have unlocked the bootloader on your Xiaomi Poco F1 phone and you also have installed Torp Recovery. I have videos for those linked in the description of this video will also pop up as a card on the top right of your screen. The next thing which you need to decide is which custom ROM you want to install. Some custom ROMs come with Google Apps pre-installed, some don't. So for example, Pixel Experience comes with Google Apps pre-built into the ROM zip file. My friend Android Stud did a video on Pixel Experience. Go ahead and check him out. Other ROMs like Havoc OS don't come with Google Apps pre-installed, so you have to download the Google Apps separately. We'll be using Havoc OS for the purpose of this video. So you have to download the ROM zip file. You have to download the Google apps. Go ahead and download ARM64, Android 9.0, Nano or Pico package, whichever you want to install. And if you are moving from an Oreo based MIUI build to a Pi based Android 9.0 custom ROM, you have to download the Android 9.0 Pi vendor zip file as well. And if you want to root, you have to download the Magisk zip file as well. Once you have downloaded all the necessary files you need for the custom ROM, we'll go ahead and go into settings. And then I suggest you go ahead and remove your accounts which you have set up on the device. So we'll go ahead and click on sync over here. And then you can go ahead and click on me cloud and remove the me cloud. Same thing you can do for Google. Go ahead and click on Google over here. And then go ahead and click on more and then go ahead and click on remove account go ahead and click on remove account one more time the next thing which we need to remove is our lock screen pin password fingerprint anything which we have set up so we'll go ahead and go back into settings go into lock screen and password and over here go ahead and remove your fingerprint face data any screen lock which you have set up next thing which we need to do is we'll go ahead and boot into twrp recovery so for that the first thing which you need to do is go ahead and turn off your phone once your phone is turned off go ahead and press and hold the volume up button at the same time press and hold the power button and this will make sure that we boot into twrp recovery you can let go of the buttons once you see the twrp logo once we have booted into twrp recovery we will go ahead and click on wipe over here go ahead and click on advanced wipe and we need to select Dalvik, Cache, System and Data. Once that is done, go ahead and swipe to wipe. Next, go ahead, click on back over here. Click on back one more time and click on back one more time. Next thing, go ahead and click on install over here. Once you are in install, you need to go to the folder where you have downloaded the zip files which you need. In my case, they are in the folder called ROMs. If you have downloaded them, on the phone directly they'll be in this folder called download i'll go ahead and click on roms over here once we are inside the folder the first thing which we need to flash is the vendor firmware if needed so i'll go ahead and select the vendor firmware file over here this guy and then go ahead and swipe to confirm the flash once the vendor zip file has flashed successfully go ahead click on the back button over here now we'll go ahead and select the rom zip file followed by the Google Apps zip file if applicable. And if you want to root, you have to select the magic zip file as well. So I'll go ahead and select Havoc OS over here. Go ahead, click on add more zips. I'll go ahead and select the OpenG Apps zip file. Go ahead and click on add more zips one more time. Go ahead and select Magisk version 17.3. And now I will go ahead and swipe to confirm the flash. Once everything has flashed successfully, go ahead, click on the home button over here. Now go ahead and click on wipe over here. Click on format data over here. And we need to type in yes. Do note, this is where we are deleting everything on your phone, pictures, photos, videos, anything. Make sure you have 
back them up go ahead click on the ok button over here on the keyboard bottom right once data has been formatted successfully all we need to do is just go ahead and click on reboot system over here the first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient hold your horses go grab a cup of tea coffee or anything to drink during the boot up process your Xiaomi Poco F1 phone might reboot once but don't worry it will go ahead and eventually boot into this screen over here we go ahead and click on start and let me go ahead and skip everything over here so there it is YouTube we successfully installed a custom ROM called Havoc OS based on Android 9.0 Pi on a Xiaomi Poco F1 phone so that's it for this video YouTube I hope my video helped you likes share and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when I see you